Hello my beauties, welcome to day five for Paula Week. Welcome back, I am so happy you guys have joined me once again. Today we're gonna be doing a spooky fun um, doll makeup tutorial. I don't know how this turned out as good as it did because I kind of just winged it and it's all about just shadowing. I feel like I figured out the easiest way to make this look, this 3D like skin being sewed look. I feel like it looks so amazingly cool and yet it is so easy to do when you guys see how it is done. You guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, anyone can do this, super easy tutorial. And I am so happy with the way it turned out. Um, and also for Halloween or if you're going to like a spooky party, you can also like use the same pattern on different like parts of your skin. If you're like exposing your arms, you can do it on your arms. If you're exposing a little bit of leg, you can do this on your leg or your knee. I don't know, there's no limitations, so you can just go all out. Um, but it is so cool looking. I am so, so excited to show you guys how I achieved this look. How are you guys doing? Halloween is in just a couple days. I am so, so excited. Thank you for joining me. I enjoy having you guys here so, so much. And I still have the Red Riding Hood video to do. I'm probably going to post that on Halloween and it's gonna be really fun because I'm gonna be using like fake blood and stuff so it's gonna be a little bit more gringy and spooky than just like a regular um, Red Riding Hood so I'm beyond thrilled to do that with you guys. But for today we're doing this look and pretty much the only palette I used was the Shade and Light by Kat Von D. It has all the different like tones of brown you can possibly ever use and want. I also used a couple eyeliners. So I used an Urban Decay, any type of like darker brown liner that you can like outline the very center of the line. Or I have a ColourPop one, but the ColourPop one is a little bit more dry so it was not as easily applied on the skin and then i also have the l'oreal infallible white liner that i just got at walgreens from my walgreens drugstore haul if you guys have seen it and this worked really well it's not as opaque and pigmented as i would want maybe like a white liner to be but i feel like for this look it looks even more realistic and cool because it isn't like super opaque plus when you mix it in with like the shadows on the skin that were already applied it kind of dulls down but it still has that white like center to the line so this one definitely works what else did i use i used the ardell lashes with a little bit of liquid liner oh and i also used the cat bondi liquid lipstick in bow and arrow that's what i have on my lips i feel like this was like a very nude brown that would go perfectly awesome with this look and so yeah i think that's it um and let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial
crazy was that when you break it down and like dissect the whole like design of this like skin that's being sewed it's so easy because all you do is like you start from like the underneath and kind of build it up to make it look really realistic and 3d i really hope you guys enjoyed because i really wanted to do something like different and more creative and this turned out so so good and so much better than i anticipated and so that'd be it for today i'm gonna be filming probably tomorrow late afternoon or even nighttime when i get off work so just bear with me i will just record and upload before the end of tomorrow my next video and so that'd be it i am sending you guys a lot of love for me too you stay happy stay positive and i will see you guys tomorrow lots of love bye Mwah.